Hey, check this out. There's a, a spur here. It's old and abandoned. The tires are totally gone. Look at this. There's two tracks right there. Comes down this way. Comes into one right down there. It's got a switch right down that way. A little ways down there. This place is a mess. Look at this. Here's a switch stand right there. I like to have that. That's pretty cool. So then you've got um, two tracks right here that crossed the road and went over to that grain elevator. These tracks came from that grain elevator way over that way. The banded railroad tracks. And the line just kept on going. Kept going that way long ways it goes underneath the uh, csx line also so it went underneath the csx line came this way that's a look here went behind that grain elevator to the left then it went around uh to the right of it on the other side and tied in to the uh, norfolk and western railroad which is now norfolk southern so here's where the tracks crossed the road. They've been removed right at this crossing. And there's where they are right now. Two tracks right in there. Look at that. That's some old stuff. It's been years since the train went across this road. Okay, here's the other side of that big grain elevator, which has been abandoned for years. And the track goes right through here next to that building. It's buried underneath of all this mulch and dirt. There's two tracks here. I'm standing on one, but the main track that went through there is right here. See, there's the main track right there. And it goes across the road. Crosses the road, goes way on down that way before it ties in the main line. And here's the end of the other track that I was just standing on. See that? Still got the stoppers right there. Did that really stop much of a railroad car? So you got two tracks right there. Then you've got this other track here still in use. The closest one, that's a grain spur. That goes to um, a big grain elevator way up that way, about a half a mile. Go around that curve, there's a house right there. That big house is right next to the track. The curve's right in front of it. And the main line is right behind that building. There's two tracks right there for the main line. Then there's another spur that goes off right over there. Just on the other side of those tracks, there's a spur that goes up that way. So you've got a five track railroad crossing right here. Four of the tracks are still in use. Now I filmed a, a train on that spur last year. It goes to a customer at the very end. I think it's a potash customer or something like that. Or maybe it's fertilizer. I forget. Check out my video. I got a video of that. It goes around that way. Next to that concrete thing. It goes back about a half a mile and dead ends. They got two tracks at the very end. And then here's the crossing. Five track railroad crossing. These two tracks right here go down that way about half a mile again and tie into the main. There you go. Hopefully another train will come. There's a local switching about a mile away, a couple miles away. All right, here we go.
Not a very long train. Yeah, it wasn't very long. It's still a pretty good one though. All right, there you go. A couple roads down there is where the five track railroad crossing is. I did this spur in reverse. So right now, I'm at the end of it where it used to tie in with the North Park Southern. Look at this, totally torn out. So it tied in right over there. You can kind of see where those ties are a little bit longer, right there. That's where the switch was, right there. So then the track came through here. This is what remains of it from here down to the end. No siding off to the left, not in use, obviously, not connected. So the grain elevator is right there. So I shot this whole thing in reverse. And here's the track that goes to the main grain elevator, the really big one that's in town, about a mile down that way. That track in the middle dead ends right before it gets to the next crossing. And it's still in use, they still use that track. I think for just bait away equipment. Maybe set some grain hoppers. Hey, we got a train coming right now. So I'm gonna go to that crossing right there and get this train going through. It's a westbound. So it'll be coming towards me. I'm gonna go to that crossing. Here we go. Let's look at the track here on this out of service abandoned spur. Carnegie, USA, they're the ones who rolled it. Rolled it in 1941 maybe 10 dashes for october i'm not really positive on that uh 100 and i can't really see it 131 pounds i believe per yard so there you go carnegie usa 1941. this is right at the switch here too track on the left dead ends right before the crossing we got a train coming, and then there's a switch right there. Okay, man, did it get windy once again, but we got a train coming. Not much I can do about the wind. Look at that, here comes a westbound train. Way down there. I see a bunch of grain cars on the front. This'll be a good one. I've never shot from this angle, so this is new. Zoomed in six times. Hey, the wind eased up a little bit.
very long one. I know the end's coming up. All right, there you go. A westbound grain train, empty. That was a pretty good one too. No DPUs, what needed goes empty, light train. Thanks for watching. Let's walk back to the truck. But wait, there's more, there always is. We got a train just past mile post 681 defect detector. It's on track one. Here we go. All right, here we go. I've never filmed from this angle right next to the park. Medium clear, Circleville. Medium clear, Circleville. Oh, a rock fell behind me. That was weird. Nobody's throwing rocks at me. It's a big rock. Oh, shot.
right, there you go. They're going through the main part of town right now. There's a big rock that fell over here somewhere in this area. It kind of startled me. I don't know where it came from. Maybe it's just rolling down the hill over here. I'm not sure. Alrighty, well, there you go. I'm gonna go to a different spot now and see what else we can get into. Thanks for watching, that was pretty cool. There's two tracks right there. Next is just a little abandoned grain elevator. One goes right through that structure. The other one's just to the right of it. Kind of hard to see, but they're still there. Just another look at the old building. Look how big this thing is. This place is huge. I wonder who owns that. It's a shame to have this thing abandoned like this. That'd be a great customer for the railroad. And yet another look at the grain elevator. This is from the sidewalk in town next to the main road. Look how big this place is. I'd love to go through that building. And I'd love to go inside that thing and see what it looks like. There's a farm wagon sitting right inside there. A wagon that you haul corn and soybeans in. There's the old farm wagon. If it shows up. This track leads to the gigantic grain elevator that they still use in this town. I've got videos um, showing cars being picked up and set off over there, grain cars. Here's the track. Let's have a close look at this track. This is the main track that goes to it. First, the top of the rail, a little bit of rust. Hasn't had a train on it in at least a few days. Um, let's find part where we can read the sides of the rail. Here you go. This rail was rolled in 1947. Steelton. And I can't tell what the pound is. Probably 130, I can't really tell what it says. All right, rolled in 1947. Oh, here you go, here you go. See if we can see a little bit better over here. 131 pound rail rolled by Steel 10 in 1947. And we got some tie plates that we can see. Here you go. 1936. Let's get to you a better one. Here's one right here. These tie plates were made in 1936. Check it out. Brand new railroad spike and an old tie plate. Well, there you go. More information that you need. And that's the shed that's got a bed in it that homeless people stay in occasionally. At least that's what I was told. Check out this house over here. Look at that door. Right next to the railroad track. Be careful coming out that door. Here's another abandoned railroad spur. In Circleville there's four tracks down there and it curves Sanders, curves Sanders. goes close to half a mile before it gets down to the main line Norfolk Southern oh we got a train coming now there used to be a locomotive sitting right here a little tiny I think it was a GE center cab but um, it's been removed if you look on Google Maps you'll see it on there there's a switch right there and there's a whole bunch of tracks down that way. Goes around the curve, and there's four tracks and ties into the main. I got a train coming. I got to jump over there. All right, here you go. Looks like they're starting to tear these tracks out. There's a lot of track right here. This is a shame to have it all abandoned like this. Hasn't been used in years. And there's a pile 
Well, I bet this deal's worth a lot of money. Let's go catch us another train. Now that's a cool shot right there. I've never got that shot before. Look at that. Getting windy. All right, there you go. That was a uh, eastbound local headed towards Chilakasi. I'm not really sure where they're going though, but uh, it's pretty cool running long hood forward. I think that was an SP40-2 also. All right, thanks for watching. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching my videos, everyone. If you have time, check out another one of my videos because every view really helps my channel. I got all kinds of playlists. Check out my steam trains or my street runners. Those are the best. All right, we got the slideshow and the live action pets coming up. So thanks for watching. Here we go. Well, he just got a brand new ball, but he'd rather play with a stick and chassis. The ball is not a big hit. Just got it 10 minutes ago. I guess the stick is better, it's cheaper too. A circular house. Does anyone know anything about that? I couldn't find any information on it. And the lane that goes to it um, has a cable across the lane and it says no trespassing. So I can't get any closer than this public road right here. That's cool. Circle Hill, Ohio. Circular house.